out the way Who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop Got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, you got talk Heard it's real cheap, but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends Building buyers with my friends I'm about handling my business Not TV Everything I say in this video is alleged. It is in my opinion, and it is for entertainment purposes only. Hello, YouTube family. It's DeMarie TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the video, you guys. I'm new to YouTube. Every like and subscribe that I get, it helps me get higher in the algorithm. And I always forget to ask you guys in the front of the video, and I wait till the end, and I miss it. <laughs> so would you please do me a huge favor? and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Hey, DeMarie TV family. So I know I am so behind on my Big Brother updates, but listen, life has been lifing. The kids went back to school, football's in full effect. So I'm really having a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to time manage this YouTube thing. <laughs> and we also took kind of like a mini vacay last week. So, it's just, it's been a lot, but I'm going to do better and I'm going to try to post more. But essentially about this week five, I just feel like Wednesday night, Cameron basically took himself off the block with the veto and the house did what the house does. They, they flip flop back and forth. I still feel like Cherie is playing an amazing game, but listen, Cameron's in full on beast mode, y'all. Like this man is not even my fave naturally, but I'm starting to just feel like if he gets to the end, he's earned every single vote. He is full on playing this game, no holds barred. He's giving it 100% every single time, even when his back was against the wall. He was cool as a fan. And I can't appreciate that type of gameplay. I feel like Red made it too easy for Jared to come in between their friendship. I think he should have kind of, you know, leaned into the friendship a little bit more and trusted it. Was Cameron being 100% when it was between Red and himself? No, anybody would naturally want to save themselves, right? I would want to naturally save myself, but that does not mean he's against, you know, his best bud in the house. So Cameron wins the veto. He takes himself off and Jag voluntarily goes up. I, I think he needs to care a little bit more about his game and just kind of be a little persistent with the fact that, listen, I've done this. I've been a pawn several times. It's time to put someone else up. And I think he should start at least acting like he wants to be there. He just gives me the feeling that he's not fighting. And I know that's probably not what it really is, but that's the feeling I get. So then episode 16 comes and it's time to actually vote Red out. And they vote Red out. You can tell he's still really hurt about him and Cameron's relationship. Like it's not really where he wanted to be. And he's a little kind of disturbed that he it was a split vote for the first time, which was really good to see. I'm happy that the vote was finally split. This whole unanimous voting people out thing was kind of getting boring. So I'm glad the vote was split. It does let Cam and Boy know exactly where they stand. It doesn't really matter because after he wins the veto and takes himself off the block, Cameron then again wins head of household. The man is in full on beast mode. Listen, I don't know if they can stop him, to be perfectly honest. What competition are they going to play that he cannot pull through in? He is just a really good competitor. He's even kill. He's just, he's solid. So if the house is smart, they'll band together and try to get Cameron out of there. But I don't know. I don't want to see that anytime soon. I like having Cameron in the game because he's just like, he's in a zone and I love the space that he's in it's just he's focused like laser and I love that I think that the house is listen you got Blue and Jared and his mom you got Izzy Felicia and Sari it's just so many clicks in the house I really am starting to struggle with where any of them are going to go and I think that's what we continuously see every time we watch there they flip-flop back and forth Sari seems to always be the brains of a lot of the decision making. 
However, I don't. I think she's kind of ruined her opportunity to a hundred percent had that kind of relationship with Jack because she told Jared what Matt told her and she wasn't supposed to. And trusting Jared is just like, I know that's her son, but listen, Jared is one of my least favorite people on this show. He runs his mouth way too much. His gameplay is sloppy. I mean, I'm just not interested in it. He's attached himself to Blue and for what? Corey and America, not interested in that pair either. I am Felicia's starting to, you know, she's starting to be a little flip floppy and wear on me a little bit. So I just feel like right now, Matt, Sari are very strong, but Cameron is in fact the strongest. Bowie, Mako, America, Corey, Jared, Blue, any of them can go for me. Like anyone in whatever order, but I would like to see kind of what's gonna happen on Sunday as they form tighter alliances. But I'm not a fan of Cameron, like just off top, right? Cameron was not one of my favorite people, but when he's in beast mode and he's just going at it like that, it just, I, I can't help but like, it's the, he's just kidding. You know, he's pulling the root out of me. I just can't help but kind of want to see him just ride this, this wave all the way to the end. For me, surprisingly, to, I mean, I'm surprising myself by saying this, but it's either going to be Cam or Sari. That's the way it's looking for me. Sari is always going to be a favorite of mine. I've watched Sari since Survivor. I watched the whole Trader a series that she won. I love Sari. But when you see the type of competitor that Cameron's in, you got to give credit where credit is due. And right now, I'm, I'm really feeling those too. We'll see how it goes. Jared keeps running his mouth. He's probably going to mess up a few other things. Hopefully, he gets put up on the block. You know, I'm just ready for him to go, for real. I'm so ready for him to go. America's another one. Boy, she can go. McCole's just kind of like hanging around in the background. I would hate for us to get to a final two and three and McCole's still there because I don't really feel like she worked for it. I feel like she's hiding and I want her to step it up a little bit and play the game a little bit more, but she's just kind of laying low. Her and Bowie. So I'm a very strong competitor. I have a competitor spirit and I respect people who are competitors and I respect the fight in Cameron. And I'm, it's wonderful to see. I love Cerise mind and how she masterfully <laughs> puppeteers this house it's brilliant to me. So those right now are my top two faves and we'll see how it goes. I promise to do a better job at keeping you guys updated on Big Brother. I'll be back Sunday night or either Monday to give you an update on what happened Sunday and just give you my opinion. And like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. Who are your top two faves? I'll talk to you guys soon. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock, even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams.